Today we'll be looking at resultant of two forces. And the problem is here, the resultant of two forces, X Newton and 3 Newton is 7 Newton. If 3 Newton is reversed, the resultant is square root of 19 Newton. Find the value of X and the angle between them. This seems to be complex, but it's not. We may sketch it and then see how we can solve it. Solution. If these are reference points, then the 3N and then the N as the Xn. So we can represent this this way. And this is also Xn. And then the resultants. Is 7 Newton. And this is the angle between them. So this is also 3n. And this is the angle. Yeah. So the other one they say if 3n is reversed in the opposite direction, in that case, we are talking about minus 3n. So the same way. We have our xn, so we can represent this in this way. So this is also our xn, and this is the angle. And in this case, the resultant is square root of 19n. So if this is our A and this is B, so we can use cosine rule, which we are familiar with, to solve this. So using cosine rule, so we can represent the cosine rule as maybe if this is a resultant, talk about R square equal to A square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta. So in this case, our resultant is 7 square equal to 3, sorry, one of this is x square plus 3 square minus 2 times x times 3 cos theta. So, by the time we evaluate this, we have 7 squared is 49, equal to S squared, plus 3 squared is 9, minus 2 times 3, we have 2x, sorry, 6x cos theta. So, we can rearrange this equation and say that, or x squared plus 9, minus 6x cos theta, equal to 49. So with this, we can collect like terms. We can take this to the other side and x square minus 6x cos theta equal to 49 minus 9. Remember 9 is going to the right hand side. So it become minus. We can write this as x square minus 6x cos theta minus 40 equal to 0. Remember 49 minus 9 is 40. So the time we take the 40 to the left hand side become minus and this is our equation 1. Then for B we use the same cosine rule and in this case our resultant is Square root of 19 
we have x square plus minus 3 square minus 2 times 2 times x times minus 3 cos theta. So remember sort we have if the square uh, square root of 19 becomes 19 equal to x square plus minus 3 square is 9 minus 2 times minus 3 becomes plus 6x cos theta. So the same way we can rearrange this and say that x square plus 9 plus 6x cos theta is equal to 19. And then by the time we take 9 to the right hand side, it becomes minus. It becomes x square plus 6x cos theta. And then 19 minus 9 is what? 10. So this becomes minus 10 equal to 0. And this is equation 2. So we need to solve the two equations we need to solve the two equations so these are the equations equation 1 is x square minus 6x or theta minus 40 equal to 0 this 1 we have s square plus 6x cos theta minus 10 equal to 0. So by the time we eliminate, we solve by elimination. If we say equation 1 minus equation 2, so subtract these two equations. x square will go, and then we can look for x. So x squared minus this is 0, then minus 6x cos theta minus 6x cos theta. This becomes minus 12x cos theta. Then here you have minus 40 minus minus. So the 10 will become plus. So this becomes minus 30 equal to 0. So we can say that x cos theta is equal to 30, taking this to the side, or divide by minus 12. So we can reduce this as using 2, 15, all over 6, and then 3 into 6, 2, 3 here, 5. So we can say that x cos theta is equal to minus 5 over 2. And this will be our equation 3. So if you take equation 3 and substitute into any of this equation, either 1 or 2, we will now find the value of x. So let's do it. Solving for x using either equation 1 or equation 2 becomes let's use 1 x squared minus 6x cos theta minus 40 equal to 0 so what are we substituting we we'll now substitute the value of this cause s cos theta equal to minus 5 over 2. So this is what we are substituting. x cos theta into minus 5 over 2. So this becomes x square 
minus 6 times minus 5 over 2 minus 40 equal to 0. You can see 2 here 1, 2 here 3. So we can write this as x squared minus 3 times minus 5 is 15 minus 40 equal to 0. So what do we do? Minus 5, minus 15, minus 40 is minus 25. So you can see this. 15 minus 40 is minus 25. So this becomes x squared minus 25 equal to 0. So by the time we take 25 to the right hand side become plus. So we can say that x square equal to 25. We can say that x is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 newton. What if we use equation 2? Will it still give us the same value of x or Let's try it. Using equation 2, that is, equation 2 is x squared plus 6 x cos theta minus 10 equal to 0. So, what will this give us? So, we have x square plus 6. We are now substituting this value, x cos theta, as minus 5 over 2. So this becomes minus 5 over 2 minus 10 equal to 0. So the same way we can reduce this 2 here, 1, 2 here, 3. So we have x squared. Then 3 times this, this will now give us minus 15 minus 10 equal to 0. Minus 15 minus 10 is minus 25. So we have s squared minus 25 equal to 0. So by the time we take 25 to the other side, we come plus. So x squared is equal to 25 and x is equal to the square root of 25 which is equal to 5 newton. So any of the equation you use, you get the same value of x. But that is not where we're going to stop. Remember, we're asked to find the angle, the value of x and the angle between the two vectors. So the same way, if you use any of these equations and substitute the value of x, that will give us the angle. Solving for the angle, we use any of this. So let's start with equation 1. x squared minus 6x cos theta minus 40 equal to 0. Remember we have solved for x and x is 5. So this becomes 5 squared minus 6 times 5. So the value of x is 5 cos theta minus 40 equal to 0. So 5 square is 25 minus 30 cos theta minus 40 equal to 0. So we we'll collect like terms. So we can say that 30 cos theta is equal to 40. Remember, if we take 40 to the other side, becomes what plus remember this is minus 30 and cos minus cos theta will now be equal to 40 sorry remember we have 25 here so if you take this 25 to the other side becomes what minus minus 
25. Is that right? So we can write minus 30 cos theta equal to 40 minus 25 is 15. So cos theta, we divide both sides by minus 30, will be equal to 15 divided by minus 30. So we can reduce this as 1 minus 1 over 2. I can say that cos theta is equal to minus 0 0.5 and theta will be equal to cos inverse 0 0.5 which is equal to 120 degrees. What if we use equation 2? Do we still have 120 degrees? Let's see if it will give us the same thing. Or Using equation 2, we now have s square plus 6x cos theta minus 10 equal to 0. Remember, our uh, x is 5 square plus 6 times 5 cos theta minus 10 equal to 0. Which, if you square this, you have 25 plus 30 cos theta minus 10 equal to 0. So we'll take this to the other side. So we'll have 30 cos theta equal to 10. And if we take 25 to the other side, right hand become minus, minus 25. So we'll have 30 cos theta equal to 10 minus 25 is minus 15. So divide both sides by 30, we'll have cos theta is equal to minus 15 by 30. I can consider that cos theta is equal to minus half, and which is equal to minus 0 0.5. And theta will now be equal to cos inverse minus 0 0.5, which is equal to 120 